this is a short descriptive video about a Japanese Seiko flip alarm clock, the model DP666T, and yes you heard that right, I said 666. I don't know how superstitious the Japanese are, but um, I'm guessing that this number doesn't have a big significance to them. Um, in any case, um, the clock is in a really nice condition. I got it from Japan. So being from Japan, it means it's 100 to 120 volts. And usually the clocks have a switch at the back or at the bottom where you can switch between 50 and 60 hertz. Um, so you can use this clock in the States, for example, without having to use any kind of converter, nothing whatsoever. You set it to 60 hertz, you just simply plug it into the mains and it will go. Uh, if you want to use it elsewhere, let's say in Europe or Australia or uh, um, anywhere else where you need to 220 volts and you would have 50 hertz, you can just switch it to 50 hertz, use a regular voltage um, a transformer for the voltage um, and that's it. These can be had for, you know, like a decent one, 20, 30, 35 euros maybe. And don't spend anything less because you will know you will get rubbish, usually. Um, so, it's a flip alarm clock. Um, let me just install the alarm. Let me see. There you go. It's not too loud, but it will wake you up. It's a nice, dark, rich yellow color. Um, there's no noticeable or mentionable damage anywhere. Um, clock is in a nice condition. Of course, I completely took it apart. This front was very yellowed. I brought that back to life. I whitened it, brought it, and you know, I made it white again. Let's put it like that. Um, I use UV light for that and Salon Creme, just Google it, uh, sort of a mix, a, a different version of the Retro Bright which you can also find online. Uh, for me it works really well, it just takes patience. You can use instead of UV light um, the sunlight, but being here in Ireland we don't get that much sun, especially not in winter, so this is a lot easier for me. Um, it's a 12 hour clock. And um, so here you can see the motor spinning running. I completely took it apart. New light, new resistor. The motor was cleaned and lubricated. New cable, brand new plug. Um, so yeah, anything you need, anything it needs, it got for me. Quick look at the label, not much you can see. So it says 100 volts, but actually the motor is laid out for 100 to 120 volts. If you look on the inside, you will see that. Trust me on that. Um, not much more to say. That's it. Thank you for watching.